Good night, good night, hell. Watch us tonight, God is good, and God is good all the time. My name is Irma, Irma J, a spiritual divine, and also an unsolved missing person. Um, I have a little show news for you all today. Uh, we have a missing woman, you know, urgent search for a missing uh, woman from Pennsylvania, you know, a mother. Um, investigators say uh, a missing Pennsylvania a mother did not pick up her son, you know, Wednesday. You know, afternoon. So Jennifer Brown, you know, family is offering a reward for information, you know, um, for her safe return back to them. You know, Jennifer never show up to pick up her child, and they said it's not usually her. You know, she never um, does that before. She always pick up her child from school. So, um, the latest good morning, um, good morning America show. The police are expressing, you know, concern, you know, about this case. Because Brown had been missing for days and now, and her family said it's unusual for her not to be in contact or communication, you know, with them. You know, because she probably, you know, always contact, just like me, I always contacting my children or every night then contact somebody, you, you know, um, that she would never you know, leave her child behind overnight, Pennsylvania, you know, you know, uh, they're saying she would never do something like that, never pick her child up from school, just not showing up, you know, um, community, desperate for answers, you know, amid the search for a missing woman who vanished without a trace, and we just really want to bring her home safely, and she is a mother, you know, a hard-working mother, and if not, for anything, we just want to bring her home to her kids, and, um, and she was 40, 43 years old, you know, so her car, you know, later on was found parked outside of her home, you know, with her keys, you know, her wallet, and her work self, her self, her, uh, her phone, her cell phone, this her personal cell phone was not in the car, inside the car. You know, the cell phone is still missing, and the police say it hasn't been communicating since, you know, Wednesday, you know, seeing January, January the 3rd. You know, so uh, the kind of things the police will be doing in their search, you know, immediately a background check, you know, of her. You know, to try to see what state of mind she was in. If she just just left and just got tired of the pressure, you know, so they're going to be checking on all kinds of th things about her first. Is And two, is there being any change in her behavior? They're trying to find out if she um, had mental health problems or if, if, she, was, um, if she was depressed, you, you know. So I'm quite sure the family would have said something if she had mental health. So I really, I don't think, well, you know, I'm a spiritual mind, you know. So I saw the whole thing, so I don't think it's not no, no, uh, mental, you know, health issues. You know, she was attacked. She never made it back to her car. You, you know, so what kind of relationship with her child father? So these, these are things they're going to be, the background checks and everything they're going to be looking at. You know, so what, what, you know, so, uh, and what, did, did, did they have in a custody bag? You know, the, the father child, you know, they're going to be looking into that. They're going to be looking to if they had in a battle, you know, custody battle of the child. They're going to be looking into all of that to find out exactly who did what. You know, so they stated this case is troubling from this standpoint, you know, that you're already printing out that the keys of her work phone in her purse was inside, you know, her car. That would certainly suggest that maybe something happened to her as she was about to leave. So where does that take y'all to go back to this circle of an ex-husband, a parent husband or boyfriend? You know, so they're, they're going to check and see she had a boyfriend. They're going to check into the ex-husband, you know, and maybe someone was obsessed, you know, with her. Or maybe they was upset, you know, so they were not together, whatever. It might be now the question is how do you answer all those questions? You know, so that's all the things that they will be looking into. 
you know, in, in a search of her, you know. So they will look on the ex-husband, you know, or the ex-boyfriend, you know, of if either one are obsessed, obsessed of her, you know, or, or, the, or they was upset, you know, a cell phone and work phone, they're going to be checking into that, you know, friends or work, at work. They're going to check her friends. They're going to check her co-workers. They're going to check up all that. If she had any kind of enemies or anybody was obsessed of her to try to do her harm. So we'll give, we'll give me at least who she been talking to in the days before she disappeared. The police may be with uh, the FBI, you know, to our ability to pull an um, active cell phone in around her house. Now let's say the afternoon. The evening or Tuesday and Wednesday that could give you some possibility to leave. You know, um and if her purse and keys was in her car, it sounded like she was trying to leave. But her personal phone was not in the car. You know, um whoever have, you know, her know to shut the phone off. Because everyone will be calling it, calling and looking for her. You know, so that's the first thing they will do. You know, uh, they think she have mental it, um, health issues. I don't think so. You know, uh, she just disappeared. You know, I saw, so she didn't just disappear. You know, her family would say if she had any kind of mental health, they would have stated that she had any mental health, you know, uh, because this said she will always, they always, she always pick up her child. You know, she never forget to pick up her child. And she always communicating with everyone in her family. You know, so I am a spiritual, un, um, un, unsolved missing divine. You know, she put a purse and her keys in her car. She was about to leave. But must have forgot something in the house. Went back into the house. She never made it back to her car. So you might want to check her house for any kind of prints. You know, because uh, the person knocked her out in her house. She never made it back to her car. So y'all want to go check her house. You know, and and um, and I, I couldn't see nothing else after that. So I would have to still dig into some more, uh, meditate on some more uh, where he took her, you know. Because everything just went blank after that. You know, so that's the first thing y'all want to do is check her house. Because she never made it back to her car. You know, so that's all the short news I have. I am an unsolved mission to Brian. I hope I give you some kind of insight on what happened. With, I just have to meditate on some more to find out where her body is located at. You know, uh, so that's all I have for you all today. Y'all have a, a blessed and safe night, and I'll see y'all on the next video.